Guppy Color Development, How to Enhance the Beauty of Your Guppy Fish If you are a guppy enthusiast, you might be wondering when do guppies get their color and how can you enhance their beauty. Guppies are one of the most popular and colorful freshwater fish in the aquarium hobby, but they are not born with their vibrant hues. In fact, guppy fry, baby guppies, are almost transparent and develop their color gradually as they grow. In this video, I will explain the stages of guppy color development, the factors that influence their coloration, and how you can provide optimal conditions for your guppies to show off their best colors. Guppies get their color through a process of gradual development that starts from birth and continues until adulthood. The color development of guppies is influenced by genetic and environmental factors, such as temperature, diet, and light. The coloration of guppies varies widely among individuals and populations, but generally males are more colorful than females. Guppies can display a range of colors, such as red, blue, green, yellow, orange, black, and iridescent. Now that you know when and how guppies get their color, you might be curious to learn more about this fascinating topic. In the following sections, I will go into more detail about the different stages of guppy color development, the best ways to enhance your guppy's color naturally, and some tips on how to breed guppies for specific color traits. If you want to make your guppy tank more colorful and attractive, don't miss this complete guide on guppy coloration. The Behind Guppy Coloration, The Genetic, Hormonal, and Environment Guppy coloration is influenced by a variety of factors, some of which are genetic, hormonal while others are environmental. Understanding these factors is crucial for guppy owners who want to optimize the coloration of their fish and create a visually stunning aquarium. Genetics plays a significant role in guppy coloration, as different strains and breeds of guppies have distinct color patterns and combinations. Guppies have four major types of color cells, xanthophores, yellow-red, erythrophores, red, iridophores, reflective, and melanophores, black. These color cells are derived from neural crest cells during embryonic development and migrate to different locations in the body. The distribution, density, size, shape, and arrangement of these color cells create the diverse patterns and hues that we see in guppies. The genes that control guppy coloration are mostly located on the sex chromosomes, X and Y, and affect mainly males. Females have two X chromosomes, while males have one X and one Y chromosome. The Y chromosome carries genes that suppress or enhance the expression of color genes on the X chromosome. Therefore, males can inherit different combinations of color genes from their mothers depending on which X chromosome they receive. Some examples of sex-linked color genes are red tail, RT, yellow tail, YD, green tail, GT, blue tail, BT, snakeskin, SSB, tuxedo, 2, glass belly, GB, etc. There are also some autosomal color genes that are located on non-sex chromosomes and affect both males and females. These genes usually modify or regulate the expression of sex-linked color genes by affecting the development or function of color cells. Some examples of autosomal color genes are blue, BL, golden, go, albino, A, blonde, B, metallic, M, etc. In addition to genetics, Hormones also play a role in guppy coloration by influencing the activity and responsiveness of color cells. The most important hormones for guppy coloration are thyroid hormones, melanin-concentrating hormone, and melanocyte-stimulating hormone. Thyroid hormones regulate the differentiation and migration of neural crest cells into color cells during embryonic development. Melanin-concentrating hormone reduces the dispersion of pigment granules within melanophores, making them appear lighter in color. The melanocyte-stimulating hormone increases the dispersion of pigment. Granules within melanophores, making them appear darker in color. Hormones can also be affected by environmental factors, such as temperature, light, stress, or social interactions. For example, guppies may change their color intensity or contrast depending on their mood, sexual readiness, or dominance status. These changes are usually temporary and reversible, but they can also have long-term effects on guppy coloration if they persist for a long time. 
Besides genetics and hormones, guppy coloration is also influenced by various environmental factors that can enhance or diminish the expression of color genes and affect the activity of color cells. Some of these factors are Water conditions Providing your guppies with lots of fresh, clean water is essential for their health and coloration one. Poor water quality can stress your guppies and make them lose their colors or become more susceptible to diseases. The pH, hardness, and temperature of the water can also affect how your guppies display their colors. For example, soft water with a low pH can make blue colors more intense, while hard water with a high pH can make red colors more vivid. Quality of food The bright color in guppies comes from pigments in their skin, known as carotenoids. These pigments are not synthesized by guppies themselves but obtained from their diet. Therefore, feeding your guppies a varied and nutritious diet that contains carotenoid-rich foods such as algae, spirulina, shrimp, krill, etc., can enhance the expression of orange and red pigments in guppies. Conversely, feeding your guppies a poor or monotonous diet that lacks carotenoids can make them lose their colors or become duller. Type of light the type and intensity of light that you use in your aquarium can also affect how your guppies show their colors. Natural sunlight is the best source of light for guppy coloration, as it provides a full spectrum of wavelengths that can reflect off the iridophores and enhance the carotenoids in the skin. However, if you don't have access to natural sunlight, you can use artificial lights that mimic natural daylight, such as LED lights or fluorescent tubes. Avoid using lights that are too dim, too bright, or have a single wavelength, such as blue or red lights, as they can distort or wash out the natural colors of your guppies. These are some of the main environmental factors that affect guppy coloration. By adjusting these factors according to your preferences and needs, you can create optimal conditions for your guppies to display their beautiful colors. In the next section, I will give you some tips on how to breed guppies for specific colors and patterns. As you can see, guppy coloration is a complex trait that involves multiple genetic and hormonal factors that interact with each other and with the environment. Understanding how these factors work can help you appreciate the beauty and diversity of guppy colors more deeply. The role of male and female guppies in color development differences and similarities. Male and female guppies have different coloration patterns, which are influenced by various factors, including genetics, hormones, and environmental cues. Understanding these differences is crucial for guppy owners who want to identify the sex of their fish accurately and appreciate the beauty of their coloration fully. In this section, we will explore the role of male and female guppies in color development including their similarities and differences. Male guppies are typically more brightly colored than females, with vibrant hues of blue, green, orange, and red. This coloration is a result of the interplay between genetic factors and hormone levels, specifically androgens such as testosterone. Male guppies produce high levels of androgens, which stimulate the development of bright colors and patterns on the body, fins, and tail. Additionally, male guppies have a specialized structure called a gonopodium, which is used for mating and is often more brightly colored than the rest of their body. Female guppies, on the other hand, have a more subdued coloration pattern, with less bright colors and smaller spots or patterns. However, female guppies are not entirely dull and can still exhibit beautiful coloration, including metallic hues and iridescence. Female guppies' coloration is influenced by genetic factors and hormone levels, particularly estrogens, which play a role in the development of the reproductive system and secondary sexual characteristics. Furthermore, female guppies can change their coloration depending on their reproductive state, with pregnant females exhibiting darker coloration and stripes on their body. Despite these differences, Male and female guppies share some similarities in their coloration patterns. Both sexes can exhibit coloration changes depending on environmental cues, such as lighting, water quality, and temperature. Additionally, both males and females can display coloration patterns that are characteristic of their strain or breed, such as the green cobra or the red tuxedo guppy. 
Therefore, it's crucial to understand the unique coloration patterns of each sex while also appreciating their similarities. In conclusion, male and female guppies have different coloration patterns, which are influenced by various factors, including genetics, hormones, and environmental cues. By understanding these differences and similarities, guppy owners can appreciate the beauty of their fish fully and identify the sex of their fish accurately. In the following sections, we will delve deeper into the role of genetics, hormones, and other factors in guppy coloration and provide you with practical tips and strategies for enhancing the coloration of your fish. Common Myths and Misconceptions About Guppy Coloration, Debunking the Falsehoods There are many myths and misconceptions surrounding guppy coloration that can lead to confusion for guppy owners. In this section, we will debunk some of the most common falsehoods surrounding guppy coloration and provide you with accurate information to help you better understand this fascinating process. Myth 1. Guppies change color to match their environment. One of the most common misconceptions about guppy coloration is that guppies change their color to match their environment. While it is true that certain environmental factors can influence guppy coloration, such as lighting and water quality, guppies do not change their color to match their environment. Instead, their coloration is primarily determined by genetic factors. Myth 2. All guppies of the same strain or breed will look the same. Another common misconception is that all guppies of the same strain or breed will look identical. While it is true that guppies of the same strain or breed will share certain physical characteristics, such as body shape and fin size, there can be significant variation in coloration patterns, even among siblings. This variation is due to the complex interactions between genetic factors and environmental cues. Myth 3. The coloration of male and female guppies is the same. Many people believe that male and female guppies have identical coloration patterns. However, this is not the case. Male and female guppies can exhibit different coloration patterns, with males often displaying more vibrant colors and patterns to attract females for mating purposes. Myth 4. Feeding your guppies a particular food will enhance their coloration. While proper nutrition is essential for maintaining the health and coloration of your guppies, there is no one miracle food that will automatically enhance their coloration. Instead, a balanced and varied diet that meets all of your guppies' nutritional needs is the best approach for promoting optimal health and coloration. Myth 5. The coloration of guppies will never change once they reach adulthood. While adult guppies exhibit the most stable and pronounced coloration patterns, their coloration can still change over time due to a variety of factors, including genetic mutations and environmental cues. Additionally, Guppies can undergo a process called color fading, where their coloration becomes less vibrant due to stress or age. In conclusion, debunking these common myths and misconceptions surrounding guppy coloration can help guppy owners better understand the complex process of color development in these fascinating fish. By understanding the role of genetics, environment, and nutrition in guppy coloration, you can provide your fish with the best possible care and help them maintain optimal health and coloration throughout their life cycle. We appreciate you taking the time to watch this video about guppy color development. We hope you found it informative and entertaining. If you want to discover more about guppies and other aquatic life, please subscribe to our channel and explore our other videos. We value your support and feedback. See you next time.